The render token, our NDL, surged a whopping 400% within just a year. The reason we witnessed such a huge pump was vastly due to a major AI search with Sora, the AI-generated video launched by ChatGPT, which is impressively realistic. Just a year ago, imagining this level of AI-generated video quality would have been unthinkable. It's both amazing and slightly frightening to see AI learn and develop so rapidly in just a year. This development caused all data and AI-related stocks and crypto to experience significant gains. Another reason for Render's major rally was NVIDIA's quarterly earnings, which exceeded Wall Street expectations by $1.7 billion. So the question we are asking here is, can the momentum last? And since our NDL is at its all-time high, is now the right time to buy? In this video, we'll dive deep into its fundamentals and see if there's any long-term holding potential, look at its price history and also the risk I see in investing this project. If you like this type of analysis, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the Gem Gem Crypto channel for more similar content like this. So first thing first, what is Render? In one simple sentence, Render is a decentralized marketplace for GPU computing power. The network specializes in providing near real-time computing power for 3D rendering tasks, AI, machine learning, and other complex computations. The team behind the project is also extremely tech-based. The project was initiated in 2009, coinciding with the bad year of Bitcoin, but of course, it wasn't a crypto project from the start. Julie Erbach, who leads a cloud graphics company in LA called Odol, founded Render. Supported by Odol, the team brings extensive experience to the project. Erbach, a veteran in the 3D rendering industry with over 25 years of experience, was creating the world's first 3D video game platform at just 18 years old, licensing to major companies like Disney and Warner Brothers. This is a green flag for me because for doing fundamental analysis, you always have to look at the team. They first sold their LNDL token in October 2017. In April 2020, Render's main system started working on the Ethereum blockchain, but since Ethereum is so slow and expensive, they have now migrated to Solana these days. And being on Solana can give them a lot more flexibility to achieve new goals. Render originally only focused on connecting artists to decentralized groups that would provide GPU power to render images and videos, but then they also began focusing on satisfying machine learning workloads to support deep learning models. This is also why whenever there's a surge in AI-related market activity, Randa is likely to benefit and see increased demand. But now, let's take a step back. How does render work? Rendering is when computers create two-dimensional or three-dimensional images. It's useful making things like movies, video games, and virtual reality. This process needs a lot of computer power, either from GPU or CPU. The render network lets people who have powerful computers rent out their ability to do this kind of work. They get paid in LNDL tokens for helping creators make their art or projects. People who need something rendered can pay with fiat dollars or LNDL tokens. If you provide your computer's power, doing a great job and doing it quickly will get you more work. Both those who provide competing power and those who use it have scores that show how reliable they are. This helps keep the network running smoothly and stops problems before they start. You know, just like how your Uber driver can rate you and you can rate the service as well. Render do take a small fee of 5% from each payment to keep the network going. And since 2023, Randa has stood out in the market because lots of people needed its GPU services for big projects and for creating virtual realities. Render services became especially popular when Apple launched Apple Vision Pro, which needed a lot of rendering power for 3D content, smooth videos, sharp images, and wide views. 
Consequently, the amount of total our NDL tokens used during the year reached 2.7 million tokens in 2023 compared to 1.8 million in 2022, leading an increase of 850,000 our NDL used. And just when you thought Renda would be having a cooling period after a huge pump of the Apple Vision announcement, two major things happened in February 2024. NVIDIA breaking new all-time highs and Sora from ChatGPT unveiled to the world how using just a sentence of text prompt can generate highly realistic videos. Sora, which can create one-minute videos featuring multiple characters, motion, intricate details, and backgrounds from text. The demand for computing power to develop and enhance such text-to-video AI models is predicted to rise significantly due to their complexity. So that's just hype, right? But hype can really take you a long way, especially when it comes to crypto. And the best part is, Render doesn't just focus on the AI realm, it also ventures into the pin sector. I do like the, the pin sector because it's not just about the hype, it's about utility, about offering something tangibly beneficial in the long haul. So if Render can ride on these two narratives, the outlook of this token's price is not just bullish, it's blazing. So I must have gotten you all hype, right? I bet you can't wait to jump in and grab some of those LNDL tokens. But before you do that, let me express my first concern about the project. Render scalability and security rely heavily on the layer one blockchain that that operates on. Even after migrating from Ethereum to Solana, Render could still face operational challenges on Solana. Additionally, the significant surge of LNDR was primarily driven by the AI hype. So people believe that its emissions are complete, leading to less room for growth potential compared to before. Another biggest concern I have is if Render can leverage the economy of scale better than all these centralized solutions. We are talking about Render's competitors like AWS, Google Cloud Platform, and Azure, which they have massive capital for developments, providing intensive GPU machines and latest NVIDIA chips. So I honestly don't know if Render is on the same scale with all these guys. All I could say about Render's price appreciation is that they enter the right space at the right time. In terms of its price right now, I do think it's a bit high, but if you believe in the fundamental, you can also choose to DCA slowly, though I wouldn't buy a huge bag at this moment of time. We don't have any price history after searching over $9, in other words, even though I believe the long-term potential of the project, I'm just going to slowly stack up the tokens because I would also have to consider the opportunity cost. Because even within the same narrative of AI and the pin, there are other smaller caps that could generate better returns for me, but of course it comes with a much higher risk as well. Let me know if you're interested in those smaller coins and I might do a video about it. However, if you do decide to buy Render or any tokens at all, make sure you put it in a cold wallet. My current favorite is definitely Tangem because there's no seed phrase required whatsoever. You can place one card at a place and the other somewhere else or choose the three cards option too if you want. Even if you lose your cards, the person still wouldn't be able to steal your crypto as they don't have your assets key. So Tangem Wallet, definitely worth checking out. You can also use my discount code GEMGEM10 to get 10% off your purchase. Of course, link down in the description box below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.